Look, I don't care if the guy is a poofter. Buy him out, give him 10 million bucks, and make sure you get the document signed. Hello? I'm Mel McElroy, star of Stage and Screen and Self Made Millionaire. You know, every day Americans come to me and say, How did you do it, Mel? How did you become the tremendous success that you are? Is it just because you're Australian, or is there indeed some personal magic? Well, no doubt being Australian has something to do with it. I mean, we walked away with the America Cup. Our movies are American box office smashes, and our products, like Railway right here, are taking America by storm. But that's not why I made it to the top of the heap. If you want to model yourself after me, buy my book, Self Made Mel. It's only 120 pages long, same length as a movie script. And in it, I outline some innovative ways to save time so that you have more time for work. Here's an example. Right here on page 53, I deal with personal hygiene and the time that can be saved by bathing, shaving, and changing clothes only on weekends. This is part of Mel's magic. Time saved is money earned. And also here on page 79, I discuss how you can find petrol when all the garage pumps in your neighborhood are dry. Let's not forget that Jerry's buried a lot of petrol all over the world in the last war. And if you know where to find it, well, look, I don't want to give the whole book away. Don't be a wanker. Buy the book, Self-Made Mel. Pick up a copy. It made me a millionaire. And even if you don't have my natural luck and uncanny Australian savvy, you should be able to bag a couple extra bucks after reading it. Not off an hour. Now available in America. The ladies, the ladies, how they do keep you up. Oh, coffee, 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 the kid needs coffee. <laughs> uh. What are we viewing here today, Mark? Well, I've, I've put together a rough cut for you, starting with the Atlantic City footage leading up to the free concert itself. Oh, uh, trippy. Jackie likes. <laughs> May we proceed, Mark? I love her. I love her. She needs me, but she doesn't show it. Why should she when she doesn't know it? She thinks she loves me. Mr. Primrose. F. Lee Bailey again. In regards to our previous phone conversation regarding Jackie Rogers Jr.'s free outdoor concert on your Chinchilla Ranch, I'm sitting here with Mr. Rogers Jr.'s manager. I'll put him on the speakerphone and you two can work out the details. Hello, Zale. Mel McElroy here of McElroy, Goolagong, and Billy Boyle. We're Jackie's new Australian representation, and uh, we're tied into a large promotion that will take place at the America's Cup in Perth, and Jackie is very much a part of that show. Rubbish. Now, as part of our deal with Jackie, we would very much like to do this concert on your property. Unfortunately, now, Lee, these are beautiful boots. Thank you. Unfortunately, Zale, uh, we don't have any money. Well, then I don't see how we can do it. Well, here's where a little bit of Australian savvy might just solve your problem for you. You see, the way I see it, if we're there, we'll be able to provide security for you and your chinchillas. If we are not there, we will not be able to provide any security. Now, the kids are going to come either way. And if Jackie doesn't show up, they'll tear your place apart and turn it into a rubble that's like the Australian outback. Damn you. Agreed. Good. Have you got a pen? Write this down. Uh, I, Zale Primrose, uh, do... Do hereby grant uh, exclusively the right to my property to McElroy, Goolagong, and Billy Boyle. I wandered toward a child of love who was hitching toward Primrose Ranch. Where I said there was a happening, happening there, man. Num, num, num. He found the brother jumping freedom and the ladies doing fine. Check those toxic ladies, Mark. Why are prime? <laughs> This is Ted Healy, WPGM Concert Weekend, with a live update from Primrose Farm, the site of tonight's free concert by Jackie Rogers, Jr. Where there is one note of controversy, it seems that Jackie's manager, Mel McElroy, has decided to forego the usual security measures and hire a local chapter of the Shriners to keep the peace at the concert. <laughs> Mel! 
magic. Love feels magic. <laughs> Don't hurt the dude, man. He know not what he do, Dick. People, people, just remember this event, as it were, is about three basic things. Music, good weed, and some heavy-duty balling. You're on in five minutes, Jackie. What's the scene like out there, Don? Oh, you gotta cut the opening act short. What's the problem, man? It's no Shriners, man. It's getting real ugly out there. Uh, <laughs> say hello to the nice people. Hello, nice people. Oh, they are very loud. Yes, they are very loud. I would like to give you a kiss. <laughs> you would like to give me a kiss? What are you talking about? Oh, I've seen your wife since you come to the place. Aggressive bastard. Okay, man, it's all about to happen. Here he is, Jackie Rogers Jr. Right now. Love, uh, ha. Exciting and new. Come aboard, Samma. We're expecting you. The sweetest reward. Let it float. And it floats for you. On the Exalted ruler, Dick. You shouldn't have grabbed my tassel. When you grab a Shriner's tassel, you're asking for trouble. Come on, people, let's not relinquish the love. Love. Exciting and new. Swing aboard while I grab the crew on the love. Succession of bombers. All right, enough children, shriners alike. This concert is null and void, Jack. I want everyone to leave the Primrose Ranch as of now. Get him, man! He's messed with our heads. Yeah, we got him. Come on, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. We will return to Gimme Jackie following these messages. Healy from WPGM Concert Weekend. Jackie Rogers Jr. has been hospitalized after last night's concert fiasco. Word from the district attorney's office is that Rogers will be indicted for conspiracy to incite a riot. Nice going, Jack. Jackie, F. Lee Bailey here. Listen, if we're going to head off this indictment, we've got to take the initiative. We've got to prove your innocence beyond a shadow of a doubt. I trust you, Lee. What do you have in mind, man? Lie Detector. With renowned criminal lawyer F. Lee Bailey. Tonight, did Jackie Rogers Jr. incite a riot at Primrose Ranch? The law assumes you're innocent until proven guilty. Unfortunately, the press sometimes assumes the reverse. Such is the case with our next guest. Mr. Jackie Rogers, Jr. <laughs> Thank you, F. Lee, for those very, very kind words. You know, in my business, or in our business, when one hears a catchy melody like the lie detector theme, 
and realizes that that melody, in fact, has no lyrics, Dig. One does not just sit back and enjoy. One phones a very close friend like Sammy Conn and says, Sammy, man, we need some lyrics. Five minutes later, truth, he phones back with our gift to you, F. Lee. Son, man. Bossa Nova, baby, really got me going. It's a Bossa Nova, baby, here today. Bo really got me balling. It's a Bossa Nova, baby, here today. Bossa Nova. Is your name Jackie Rogers, Jr.? Si, senor. <laughs> Just answer yes or no, Jackie. This is... Is your name Jackie Rogers, Jr.? Yes, Effley. You know it is. Did you have any ulterior motive for staging the concert at Primrose Ranch? Absolutely not. <laughs> for the last time, if it wasn't music, what was your motive for staging the concert? Well, possibly the desire to ball some ladies. Good. Last, a truthful answer. Now we're getting somewhere. This balling, as you refer to it, is this an obsession with you? Well, Effie, you have to understand, I suppose I ball as much as any singer on the road. Now, I want the truth, Jackie. Are you or are you not a virgin? Yes! Yes, I am a virgin. Mr. F. Lee Bailey. I stayed the whole damn concert. Just so I'd become a hero in the eyes of the young and possibly meet some eligible ladies. <laughs> does that make me a criminal? Well, does it? <laughs> Turn it off, Mark. I can see no more, man. Mark. Who was it who said, life is made to live just once, not to relive through video? I can't remember. SCTV. We got it all. The best in daytime programming. We're gonna die! Oh, me. Yes, we've got it all. Hard-hitting investigative reports by... Troy Soren. And Joel Wise. Straight talk on the issues that affect us all. Oh, and when it comes oh, to news, oh, we've got the professional. Oh. Lloyd Robertson. <laughs> and Earl Tannenberg. Yes, we've got it all. The biggest names in show business in our own variety special. Mounted with all the glitz and glamour of a Las Vegas review. We've got it all on SCTV. Be there.